In this video, one of us is getting pied in the face. Dylan's always bragging about his math skills. So I've made a bet with him that he can't complete a SATS arithmetic paper in less than six Ooh, minutes. What a joker. <laughs> That's exactly 10 seconds per question. As with all good bets, the loser gets a pie to the face. So good luck, Dylan. Let me just get one thing straight. I am never losing a bet to Hayden. Six minutes, less than 10 seconds a question. We got this. The SATS paper's up. I'm raring to go and there is no way I'm getting a custard pie to my face. Let's get started in three, two, one, go. Question one, 6,000 plus 90, easy, 6,090. Question two, scroll down, 8,275, 8,300, and we're gonna take off that 57. Next one, did that in my head. 826, we're missing the 20, that's a place value question. Let's look at question four. Plus five, so take away five, 336 is the answer. Uh, nine fours are 360, so 369. Put it in the box, Mr. Price, 369. Go down to question six. Uh, eight ones, and then I'm really gonna hope there's no exchanging here. Nine tenths and nine hundredths and three thousandths at the end, good. Uh, question seven, uh, using times tables, that's six, but 10 times bigger is 60. Here, divided by 12, that's just gonna be 10. Use my times, times table facts again. Anything times zero is zero. Let's keep going, it's a good start. 91 divided by seven, that's 13. Because I know 84 is 12 lots. 87 take away 65, two tens, two ones, easy. Question 12, 602 take away 594. I'm just gonna count on, it's gonna be eight. Uh, let's go here, divided by 11. Okay, 11's into one, two, one is 11. And then make it 10 times bigger for the placeholder. Question 14, then it went past it. Times by 10, shift those digits up. 253.4, next one. Question 15, do the brackets first. That's six, 60 divided by six is 10. Next one, question 16, three uh, cubed. Three times three is nine, times three is 27. 101 times 1,000, easy. That's just 101,000. Uh, next one down here, 20% of 3,000. Well, 10% is 300, times that by two. The answer is 600. Right, come on, question 19. Seven take away two something, so we're gonna have four point, and then that's one quarter, so we're gonna have three quarters left, which is 4.75. Nice. Question 20, divided by 100, just shift those digits down, 0 0.009. Question 21, nine take away 1.9 is gonna be 7.1 to make the whole. Uh, one and three sevenths take away four sevenths. Well, that's gonna be one seventh less than one, that's six sevenths as our answer. 23, ah, oh, we've got to write this down. Seven sixes are 42. Seven threes are 21, plus the four is 25. Seven eights are 56, that's gonna be 58 with the exchanging. Put a placeholder in, two sixes are 12. Two threes are six, plus the one is seven. Two eights are 16. I'm gonna add it straight into the box. Two ones, seven tens, 15 uh, hundreds, so exchange over. 12,000, so exchange over. 22,000. 572. Next question, 24. One fifth. Let's change them into 20th. So four twentieths plus 15 uh, twentieths, yes, is 19 twentieths. Guys, I've got no idea how I'm doing for time. I'm hoping I'm doing quite well. Oh dear. No, God, please, no, no, no. Okay, long division. We've just got to write it down. 37, double that is going to be 74. Uh, we're there already, I think. We can take off 74, that's gonna be two lots, which is the difference of six plus eight, which is 14, and then eight in there. Ah, double 74 is 148, so that's gonna be four lots. I can put four lots here, that's the answer. I'm moving on, it's 24. Question 26, okay, denominator's different again. Let me just scroll it down a bit. One fifth, let's change it to one and two tenths, add on two and one tenths, that's three holes and three tenths as a mixed number. Question 27, 35% of 320. Well, 10% is 32, which means 30% is three times that, which is 96. 5% is going to be half of that, which is 16. Add on five to the 30, we get 12, and we exchange over 112 is our answer for that one. 28, oh, well, let's make them both out of 36. So we're gonna have eight fours of 32 of 36. Take away, make it 36 again, nine out of 36. That's gonna be 23, 36. So when we make our denominator the same. Next one, 51%. Well, let's work out half, which is 50%, 450. 1%, which would be nine. Add those together, the answer is 459. Question 30, oh my gosh, it's long multiplication. We've got to just do it, okay. Two eights are 16. Two sixes are 12, plus one is 13. Two fours, eight, plus the one is nine. Two sixes, that's six. Placeholder in. Six eights are 48. Excuse me, 
put the 4 down here. 6, 6 to 36, add the 4 is 40. 6, 4 to 24, add the 4 is 28. 6, 8 are, 6, 3, sorry, are 18. Plus the 2 is 20. I'm going to add it straight into the box like last time. 6, 1s. 11, 10s, exchange over. 10, hundreds, exchange over. 15, thousands, exchange over. 1, 10, thousand, and then 2 there for the 100,000. 250,000. And 16, guys, I hope the timer is looking good for me. I have no idea. <laughs> Two thirds divided by three. Well, we're just going to change it to one third and multiply. So we're going to have uh, two over nine is the answer there. Question 32. Uh, let's change this to two and two quarters. Two and two quarters take away three quarters. It's going to be one and three quarters. Next one. Question 33. 36% of 450. Okay, so 30% is going to be 45. That's 10% times three. So it's going to be 135 there. That's 30%. How do we work out 6%? Well, 1% is 4.5. So 2% is equal to nine. So 6% is three lots of that, which is 27. So we've got 6% and 30%. Add them together, we get 162 as our answer. Next one, I'm going quick. One and three quarters times 10. Well, I know that's the same as 1.75 times 10 because that's the same as a decimal. So that's 17.5. I'm going to put it back as a fraction because the question's in a fraction. And this 17 and a half is our answer. Question 35. Five sixth, this is just a fraction of a quantity. So one sixth is going to be 54 divided by six is 90. And then times that by five, we're going to get 450. And I think this is the last question. I don't know what the time is looking like. It's long division. You're joking. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. Okay, 83, uh, which means that, looking here, we have actually 805. So I know that 10 lots is 830. Then I know that nine lots is, I just take off 83. So we take off 83 from there, we have 747. So let's take off 747 and say that's nine lots. The difference there is going to be 53 plus five, which is 58. Whack down the one, how many 83s and 581? Well, five lots will be half of 10 lots. So that's 415 is five lots, uh, which means if we add on two extra lots, yes, that'll be 581. So it's seven lots. We put 797 as our answer. Stop the timer. I've got no idea how I got on, but that felt quite close. I am never losing a bet to Hayden. Smashing work there, Mr. Quick Maths, but do you reckon you have won the bet? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the timer, it seemed quite close. You're just going to have to put me out of my mis... No. Oh, no. No. Damn!